نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد و فاعوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الفلام غلب الروم فی ادن الارض و ہم من بعد غلب ہم سیغ لبون فی بدع سنین للہ الامر من قبل و من بعد و یوم عظیم یفرح المؤمنون بنصر اللہ ينصر من يشاء وهو العزيز الرحيم وعد الله لا يخلف الله وعده ولكن اكثر الناس لا يعلمون صدق الله العظيم This is surah ar-rum I should have told you that in the mushaf now we are having four surahs which are starting with these alphabets alif lam mim First was Surah Al-Ankabut. We have already read it. Second is Surah Al-Rum. Third is going to be Surah Al-Rukman. And the fourth Surah Al-Sajda. These are the four Makki Surahs which start with Alif Lam Meem. Then we have in the very beginning of Quran two Madani Surahs which start with the same letters Alif Lam Meem, Surah Al-Baqarah or Surah Al-Imran. Now these surahs, they actually were revealed to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during the middle four years of his stay at Makkah. I told you the Makkah period can be divided into three parts. First four years, middle four years, then the last four years. The first two main groups of Makkah surahs, Surah Al-Anam, Araf, and then the 14 surahs, from Surah Al-Yunus to Surah Al-Mu'minun. They were revealed during the last four years of his stay at Makkah, except for Surah Al-Hijr. Then these two groups, one group which has started from after Surah Al-Nur, Al-Furqan, Al-Shu'ara, Al-Naml, Al-Qasas. Then Surah Al-Ankabut, Surah Al-Rum, Surah Al-Luqman, and Surah Al-Sajda. And then will come another surah, Madani surah, that is Ahzab. And then after Ahzab, 13 Makki surahs. So these are the surahs 8 plus 13, 21, which were mostly revealed during the middle four years of his stay, of the stay of the Prophet ﷺ at Makkah. Except for Surah Shuara. There are exceptions, but generally those rules hold. Now this surah was definitely revealed just like Surah Ul- Surah Al-Ankabut, in the fifth or sixth year after the beginning of Wahi on Muhammad Wasallam, In the same way it is also definite that it was revealed in the sixth or fifth year after the beginning of Wahi to Muhammad Wasallam. Al-Islam mean Walibat in Rome. The Romans have been defeated. Fi Adnal Ard, in the land close by. And after this defeat of theirs, they will soon be victorious. In a few years. To Allah belongs the command before and after. And on that day, the believers will also be rejoicing. With the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He helps whomsoever he wants. وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الرَّحِيمُ And He is the Mighty One, the Merciful. وَعَدَ اللَّهِ This is the promise of Allah. لَا يُخْلِفُ اللَّهُ وَعَدَهُ Allah doesn't go back on His promise. وَلَكِنَّ أَكْسَرَ النَّاسِ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ But most of the people know not. Now it is clear from these six ayats that there is a historical background behind it. First of all, you should have an idea that the Arabian Peninsula is like this. And over this peninsula is Syria on the left side and Iraq on the right. These are also part of Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab and Al Jazeera. These are the three parts of the Arab world. Iraqul Arab, Shamul Arab and Al Jazeera, the Arabian peninsula. Now there were two superpowers of that age. One was the Roman Empire. One was the Iranian Empire. These were the two superpowers of that time. 
for several hundred years. They were, you know, the superpowers. And then, you know, history had been playing a game of seesaw between the two em- empires. Sometimes the Romans came to the east and they ran over most of the area that was occupied by the Iranians and defeated them. Sometimes the Iranians advanced and pushed the Romans into the Asia Minor. Roman Empire was a very big empire. It had its occupied areas in the north of Africa, west of Asia and east of Europe. But then, you know, if the Iranians advanced, they pushed these Romans into Anatolia, the the Asia Minor. And when the Christians, these these Romans, they advanced, they pushed uh, Iranians back. Now, what happened in the year? It was year 615 when Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi had been giving his dawah for five years. Revelation started to come to him in the year 610. In 615 AD, Romans got a very big defeat at the hands of the Iranians. All this area, Syria was gone from their hands, Jerusalem gone from their hands, you know, and for those Christians, that was a very sacred area. So a very big downfall came on the Roman Empire. Now, because the Iranians were the worshippers of the fire, the idolaters of Bakka and Arabia, they rejoiced and they taunted to the Muslims, these people, the Christians, they are nearer to you. They are the people of the book. You accept Jesus. Now they have been defeated. And they are more nearer to us. They are worshipping fire and we are worshipping these idols. So they are our brothers and they have triumphed. So this was the event which was very important. And due to this, the Muslims were also somewhat depressed because the people of the book were defeated by those who were worshipping fire. All this, Hazrat Abu Bakr entered into a betting agreement with one of the kuffar of Makkah. That if this prophecy, Quran says that within a few years, the Romans will have the victory again. In a few years. To Allah belongs the authority before also and after also. On this he bet and he entered into an agreement of betting that if this prophecy doesn't come true in three years, then I'll give you 100 camels. If it comes true, you give me 100 camels. But the prophet said, you have committed a mistake. The word biza in Arabic it covers the figure up till 9, less than 10. So you change your bet, increase the number of the years to 9, and you can increase also the number of the camels. So he changed his bet in accordingly. Exactly in the 9 years after this event, in the year 624, the tables were turned. Heraclius, the Roman emperor, he now invaded Iran from the northern area, from, you know, this, between the Caspian, from where the Gogs and Magogs used to come in the, in the ancient times. Uh, the, you know, the way was blocked by Cyrus or Zulkarnain. We have read it in Surah Al-Kahf. From Armenia and Azerbaijan, he came down and he gave a very, you know, very big defeat to the Iranians. So the prophecy came to be true. Alif Lamim, Golibati Rum, the Romans have been defeated. Fiatna Lard, in the close by land. Now land is Syria, etc. was very close to Arab, Arabian Peninsula. And after this defeat of theirs, they will again be victorious. In a few years, less than ten. To Allah belongs the authority before and even also after. On that day, the moment the believers will also be rejoicing. Why? The same year, Muslims got the victory of Badr. Same year, 624. On the one hand, Christians defeated the Iranians, the worshippers of fire. And the Muslims, they defeated the army of Bad, army at Badr of Kufar, which was led by Abu Jan. So, Yawmayadi Yafrahul Mu'minun. 
دی بلیورز ہیئر ان دی عربین پیرنسلا دے ول آلسو بی ریجوائسنگ بے نسل اللہ ود دی ہیلپ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ ینس و رومیہ شاہ ہی ہیلپس ہوپس ہو ہی لائکس وہ ہو عزیز الرحیم اینڈ ہی از آل پاور فل اینڈ آل مرسی فل وعد اللہ اینڈ دس از دی پرامز آف اللہ لا یخلف اللہ وعدہ اللہ ڈزنٹ گو بیک آن اس پرامز و لاکن اکثر الناس لا یعلمون بٹ موسٹ آف دی پیپل نو ناٹ دے ڈونٹ نو یا لمون ظاہر من الحیات دنیا ایون آف دس ورلڈ this life of this world they only know the outside of it outward aspect of this life i was asked a question regarding the ayah of surah al-ankabut wa ma hadhil hayatu dunya illa lahmu wa laib now this life of this world is nothing but amusement and play the brother asked but allah says wa khalaqta wa khalaqta hadha batila this world and this creation is not purposeless so now here it is being said that this is all amusement So answer is, if this life blocks your vision of Akhirah, then it is nothing. It is just, you know, a dhoka, a deceit and nothing else. Mata'ul gurur, a material of deceit. But if you know Akhirah also and use this dunya to earn Akhirah, then this is the most important part of our life. And this is given... In a hadith, the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ad-Dunya Mazra'atul Akhira. This dunya, this world, is the sowing field for Akhira. You sow here to reap there. But if you don't sow here, what will you reap in the Akhira? In that regard, it's most important. Each and every second, I, I said, while explaining Surah Al-Mu'minun, each and every second of this life is very important. Because what you are doing, That is going to be rewarded in a life which is eternal, no end. So therefore, potentially each second of this life becomes eternal, potentially eternal, because its results are going to be spread over an eternal time. So hence, this life is very important. But if it has blocked your vision of the Akhira and you are lost in this world, then this is nothing but a drama, nothing but an amusement, nothing but a game. یالمون ظاہر من الحیات دنیا دے آر سینگ آؤٹ آف دس ورلڈلی لائف آلسو دے آر سینگ اونلی دی ایکسٹیریئر آف اٹ وہ انل آخرت ہم غافلون ریگارڈنگ دی آخرہ دے آر ایبسولیوٹلی ہیڈ لیس بیکاز ان دس ورلڈ آلسو اف یو پیپ ڈاؤن ان ٹو یور ہارٹس اف یو سرچ یور سولس یو فائنڈ سم تھنگ بٹ موسٹلی پیپل کیپ دم سیلز انگیج ان دی ایکسٹرنل ورلڈ ورلڈ آؤٹ سائڈ Keep busy. Never think. Never, you know, ponder over something. Never search your souls. Never peep down into your hearts. So this is actually the present society. In the next surah, you will find people, you know, today have invented methods to keep people busy. Don't let them think. They should be busy in the television. They should be busy with the games. Cricket is going on. Oh, everybody is talking about it. And you know, people are just tied up to their television sets. And they are losing time and everything. And these things, they have attracted people. And they don't have any time. Either you are going to your work, they are busy with your work there. Job. And job, you know, is the most important thing here. It's the biggest ilah in, in America. Job is the biggest ilah. You must have a job, otherwise you are nowhere. So, either you are in job or you are in amusement. You are never alone to yourself to be able to think. And then you go to sleep taking some sleeping pill. Go off. Not thinking. If you think and if you meditate and if you peep down your hearts, if you search your souls, you will find. There are our signs within you also. But you don't see them. <laughs> 